Hey guys, I'm back. I know it's been a little while since I've done a video like this, uh, but I put on social media and asked you guys what you wanted to see. And overwhelmingly, you all said you want to see me cook. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I've got a really simple recipe. Um, I'll put it in the description. It's chicken and vegetables and it's super easy. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get started. And I actually originally found this recipe on Pinterest, uh, but I took out a couple of the original ingredients. I think I cut out zucchini in, in this recipe originally. I'm just not a fan of zucchini. Sorry, zucchini. I'm trying to get back into the gym, eat a little bit healthier. And so I thought this was a really good place to start. But again, you guys have asked for this video time and time again. I've been putting you off um, just because I really wanted to wait until my kitchen was completely accessible. So normally, Wes and I kind of tag team and make the process a little bit easier. You know, he'll be cleaning vegetables and I'll be passing something. Uh, you know, I might push him with a pan across the room just so he can still hang on to it with two hands. Uh, but for the sake of this video, since you guys were asking to show, you know, kind of what it's really like um, for somebody who's maybe single um, and in a wheelchair, I, I wanted to show you that aspect of what it's like if it's just you. Um, because it's possible, there are tons of recipes out there. There are tons of really simple, really healthy recipes. Um, so if you guys like videos like this, I have a couple of more that I can show you uh, later on uh, that are kind of staples in our house because we stay so busy and um, especially lately I haven't been feeling great, so I haven't wanted to cook. Um, yeah, so I'll, if you guys do like these videos, I'll keep doing them. I just really wanted to wait till my kitchen was a little bit better. Uh, but real life, we're gonna do it. Um, yeah, so this is oven roasted chicken and veggies. For starters, I've got my recipe printed out, uh, but it calls for uh, chicken breast, bell peppers, onions. Uh, it also calls for zucchini, we're leaving that out. Uh, broccoli, grape tomatoes, olive oil, salt, black pepper, and Italian seasoning. And I will show you one of the things that was a game changer for us because we like to do super simple are these vegetables. They're already pre-cut and it has the peppers and the onions that we need. Um, I think we got these from Publix, um, but I think other stores have them too. We just, Publix is what's closest to us. So um, this makes all the difference in the world. Um, and then also, just a bag of broccoli. Um, it's not frozen, it's just fresh broccoli in a bag. And so we use that and I am missing tomatoes. So I'm gonna grab those real quick. Um, and then we have chicken and then the seasonings and oil. So, so for starters, you want to wash your vegetables. So that's what we're going to do. And I like this brand in particular because it makes it really, really simple to kind of get these little tomatoes cleaned off. So this is nature sweet cherub tomatoes. Got a broccoli. And I mean, you can pull everything out of the bags and wash them that way. But honestly, I feel like this works just as well. It's less work. We've got our peppers and our onions, and um, I got I got the big pack of these. We're probably not going to use all of these, but we will use most of them. So. so, one thing I notice sometimes with this brand is it's just kind of sometimes hard to open the package. So this might not be the best option for you if you have trouble. Um, uh, using your hands, so, um, but you can use a fork sometimes, kind of just like wedge it down in the side and it pops it up for you. So there's another little life hack if you do have trouble uh, opening things sometimes.
probably can't see her, but I've got my little kitchen helper with me tonight. She's this lily girl. You can't have these. These have onions. You're not allowed to have them. So now that my vegetables are washed, I'm actually going to cut up the chicken next. Um, and again, the greatest part about this is that most of the work was already done for me. You can buy, you know, bell, bell peppers and buy the onion and cut it up. But honestly, it just makes this simpler. All right, so since I just washed off my vegetables um, and I'm going to move across the kitchen, I'm going to lay a towel down in my lap, stack up my vegetables, and move over to the oven. You can see it's a balancing act sometimes. You might have to make a couple of trips if your kitchen's kind of bigger. Um, but yeah, you you know the thing about all of this is you find your own way. You figure out what works for you, and you do it. It's I had to learn by doing it. So what might work for me might not work for you. Uh, so don't get discouraged if it doesn't work out um, or something. Uh, you struggle with it at first. It really, it's a learning curve. I have a big cutting board here, but I like to have this one on a lot, just so it's a little closer to me. Again, my countertops are not ADA, so they're a little higher. Um, but yeah, that's why I love having, we have multiple cutting boards. I like this one, I like the weight of it, it's, so it doesn't fall off my lap as easy. It kind of helps keep it flat on my lap, so. And then sometimes you get in this, you're like, oh, I need a knife, or I forgot to grab something, so. I like this one. It's, I don't know why. I use it for everything. Got a knife, got a chicken. And another good thing about already buying the pre-cut is you don't have to worry about washing multiple things in between. You don't have to worry about cross-contamination. Um, I'm only going to use this to cut up the chicken because everything else is already cut up. So, I'm tired from my workout. My hands aren't working. One thing I like to do, and this has nothing to do with being in a wheelchair, is I like to put everything in like a, a plastic bag when I'm done. So um, if you maybe don't throw your trash out every day or whatever, maybe your, your trash area isn't the most accessible, so you don't want to go as often, um, I like to put everything in a plastic bag so it doesn't make everything smell. And on this recipe, I like to cut it up in the like bite-sized pieces personally. You can do bigger, I mean, just keep in mind, the bigger the pieces of chicken, the longer it takes to cook everything all the way through. Uh, but this recipe uh, takes about half an hour. Um, and, like, as I'm cutting the chicken, I always try to cut any of the, like, the fatty pieces off. Um, our other cutting board, um, even though it's higher, one thing I like about it is it actually has built-in little cup so you can just like scrape everything off. So I'm gonna uh, put the pieces that I'm not gonna use in the recipe in this. Honestly, this is the longest Part of the process. The whole rest of this recipe is super, super simple. Like this is literally the hardest part of the whole thing. So, This meal lasts for a couple of days for us, two or three days sometimes, um, depending on how much we're home. Uh, so I don't have to worry about cooking more than a, you know, a couple of times in a week. Um, when we're, That's even when we're home all the time. And, uh, we, you know, we stay busy, so we're hardly ever home anyway. 
which is what makes meals like this so great because you make it once and then you don't have to worry about cooking again for a couple of days. You heat it up. It's really good leftover. Um, and it's all one pan. So again, it doesn't take a lot of dishes uh, or anything to prepare this. So like I said, I've literally only used uh, the thing for the, the fat for the chicken and the cutting board so far. So, and then we're gonna use the pan in just a minute. Now that I've got my chicken all cut, again, this is literally the only time consuming part of this recipe. Um, clear some space for that. All right, so first thing it says to do after you cut your chicken is you wanna preheat your oven to 475. Do bake. We do 475 and then you hit start. And I've talked about this in the last video, uh, the last uh, kitchen related video. Uh, we have double ovens. I actually have this set for the lower oven. Obviously that's gonna be a little bit easier, but we can handle the top, the upper oven if we need to use it too. Uh, I just prefer it, to use the bottom one. Uh, now I'm gonna spray a baking sheet with cooking spray. Now that I've got my cooking spray, I've already chopped up um, my vegetables. But as I put it on the plate, I'm actually going to cut them down just a little bit more because um, this batch, they're a little bit bigger than I like them. Then we're going to put the chicken and the vegetables on the sheet, add olive oil and our seasonings and put it in the oven, and then that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and spread the chicken out, and then I'm going to cut up my vegetables just a little bit more and then spread those out and then do the olive oil. You'd be surprised, this doesn't seem like a lot of chicken, but once you start adding in all the vegetables, it, it like I said, it, this lasts us a couple of days. Um, and that's if we eat, eat it for every meal for two days straight, so. Okay. Since my tomatoes, um, they're little baby tomatoes, I'm, I'm not gonna cut them down, I'm gonna keep them just like they are. Normally I would just dump this whole thing out, which is why I like this, but I kind of didn't drain my water out of here very good. So usually it's a lot, you know, less work than this. But I, I love this brand. It's a <laughs> favorite part is are the little sayings uh, on the inside of the labels are cute. Honestly, like this is such a good meal. Um, it tastes good. And like I said, it's, it's really healthy. I could eat this like every night. Definitely one of my favorites. Tomatoes are done. And now I am going to get out my clever cutter, if I can find it. <laughs> All right, so if you watched my last video, you saw this. Um, again, this is the clever cutter. I'll put this in the description in the video again, just to um, show you guys where you can buy it. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna use this and just cut up my, my other vegetables just a little bit more. And I'm gonna put the broccoli in and everything else, so. So you can even do this almost one-handed. Um, we thought this was silly when we first got it, and then Wes ended up with a hand injury. Um, if you all know us really well, you remember uh, when that happened. Uh, but this thing was actually a lifesaver because he was still able to cook and stuff, which was really nice. So. And I, like, honestly, this is to me way safer. Um, this particular clever cutter thing is uh, safer to me than just trying to use a knife.
and you don't even have to do this to this point. I just, I like my vegetables cut up just a little bit more personally. So you can skip this step entirely if you buy the pre-cut vegetables and just put it all in the pan. So. up and kind of sprinkle them. So now we the peppers and we have the last uh, ingredient other than the seasoning is the broccoli. bigger pieces since it get laid out a little bit more, but I'm actually going to use the cover cutter again just on a couple of these pieces just to break it up. I found that it helps cook this just a little bit better when the pieces are a little bit smaller. Right. So now that all my chicken and vegetables are cut up, again, that's really, okay. the work is done at this point, basically. Um, the last thing that we have to do is uh, add, we're going to add a little bit of olive oil. It says two tablespoons, but I kind of just guesstimate on this. Um, it's just easier to kind of get it all spread out onto the vegetables and chicken and all that. So... All right, and then we've got salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. I like this brand. You can do whatever. Um, it doesn't really change the recipe that much if you you know use whatever you've got. Um, it says to do half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. I kind of just, again, sprinkle everything all over. It's about down to here. Um, again, I guess, I guess to me. Use a spatula here in just a second to kind of mix it all up just a little bit better um, so it doesn't just season the top of it. I will say this does get a little heavy, um, so you be really careful when you go to pick it up and put it in the um, oven. You'll notice I keep moving too. Um, our kitchen kind of slants that direction, so that makes it kind of fun. <laughs> have to readjust every so often. You can see this meal is really pretty. I, this is my favorite meal, just because it looks good and uh, tastes good too. We're done. Yeah, so this is what it'll look like if you did what I did and leave out the zucchini. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty and actually it's perfect timing. My oven uh, just finished heating up, so we're gonna put it in the oven. Um, yeah, I don't really have a helpful hint on this part of it. Be very careful. Um, if you watched my other video uh, on cooking, you saw these. This is the Ugg Love, and um, I'll put the uh, link to where you can purchase the Ugg Love in the description. But we're going to open the oven. Don't burn puppy noses. No, ma'am. Get back. Get back. All right. So. There you go. Um, it says to leave this in at 475 for 15 to 20 minutes or until the veggies are charred and chicken is cooked. Um, again, part that took the longest is cutting the chicken. 
But again, this is actually a really, really simple recipe. I think it's a great one. Uh, if you don't want to do a whole lot of dishes, um, you want to go for something healthy, and you want something that's just uh, simple. I mean, it has what you need. Um, it's, you know, it has, it's healthy, it tastes great, and yeah, and it's pretty. I'm actually gonna set my timer before I forget. All right, so we're gonna do kitchen timer, 20, and start. If you like the cooking videos, let me know, and I will do a couple more for you. Uh, I have some other recipes that are, uh, take about the same amount of preparation, that are really good, pretty healthy, and um, I mean, I could even show you some other stuff that we like that maybe isn't as healthy, but I wouldn't necessarily condone that. So I'm just saying, if you want more ideas, I'll put more ideas out there later. Um, but just let me know, leave me a comment. Um, let me know how yours turned out, if you try it and like it, or if you don't like it, or maybe you change up the recipe a little bit. Um, but yeah, again, I'm gonna include links to the tools that I used, as well as um, the original Pinterest link and I'll even put maybe some notes about how I changed it up so you can refer back to it. Uh, so one thing you can do while you're waiting for the meal to cook is you can start your cleanup. Um, that actually will make the whole process a lot easier. It'll help your kitchen stay cleaner a little bit longer and kind of kills the time in between. So, And you know this time a little bit of extra broccoli left over. Might save it for a snack or something. Like I said we're trying to eat healthier now. I just got back from the gym before we started this. Careful with the knives. If you don't already know to do this, before you load your dishwasher, rinse your dishes off. I promise, promise, it will save your dishwasher later. I know it seems stupid, but it does make a huge difference in that we just had to have a uh, plumber come over and uh, fix our dishwasher. Again, you can use the bag that the chicken came in to close your chicken back off so it doesn't make everything stink as much. And cleanup is basically done. Super simple. Okay, we've got about 10 minutes left on the timer. So I'm going to kind of just hang out until we're ready to pull it out of the oven. What you think, girl? Mm -hmm. Chubby mommy saw helper. Check. Good girl. Other one? No. 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 Other one? Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Down. Down. Good girl. I love her. I love her. Oh my goodness. She's so good. Good job. Good job. Show off your tricks too. Good job. No. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, get down. Get down. I gotta wash my hands. I gotta wash my hands. Such good helpers, thank you. Okay, so it's been 20 to 25 minutes now. Um, my timer just went off, so we're gonna pull it out of the oven. And this is the part you wanna be really, really careful about. Um, if you have something that can protect your legs, that's not a bad idea. Um, the trick with this, though, is the way you grab the pan. Because if you grab it on one end, it makes it a lot harder um, to carry it around. If you grab it from the middle of the pan, it makes it a little bit easier. So, what I like to do you have glove is sometimes a little big on me. It's very gently and very carefully. Take the pan. And sit it on the cup right here. And I'm going to get close up so you can see the finished result. 
uh, but that's it, you guys. Uh, again, this took about 30 minutes um, with the prep and cutting and uh, cooking it and everything. But I love this meal. It turns out great every single time. Um, I would say go a little longer than what the, the Pinterest recipe says to do. Um, the original one says to do it for um, 15 to 20 minutes. We do more like 25, 23 to 25, um, because you want to make sure your chicken's done. I'm going to close my oven so my little girl doesn't try to get in. But always be really careful when you're reaching into anything hot like that, of course. I hope that I shouldn't have to tell you all that, but just in case. Again, these are awesome. Um, I mean, I barely felt the heat even through, um, even as long as it took me to hold it and move it from the oven to the stove top. So, uh, yeah, we're going to eat our dinner now. Um, I hope this is helpful. I hope you guys enjoy the meal. Let me know how it turns out if you do try it. And let me know if you want more videos like this. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. And I will see you all soon. Bye. Yum.